coming first. I thought I would be fun to do like a Christmas tradition. So in after this, you will see me open the ice cream box. And um, that box is thanks to my friend Taylor over at Tay Chanel's channel, which I will link below. So I decided to combine these two. Um, I am the crazy teacher at the junior high that always has these lovely head pieces on. This is one of the favorites of my students. So I thought, why not? I also tried on this way out of my comfort zone. In the camera, it doesn't look bad. In the mirror, Ugh, I don't know. Um, it is a very matte. Again, when in the viewfinder, it looks fine. I don't know if I could walk out of the house with this. This is a very sort of terracotta-ish brownish mauve. Um, so anyway, way out of my comfort zone. Um, but since it's almost Christmas, I thought it would be fun to talk Christmas traditions. And I would love it if you would leave me one of yours down in the box below. I loved holidays growing up. We had the best times at my house. Um, so I like to recreate that for my daughter. And this is very informal. I threw a quick list together and somehow I have a feeling I'm gonna forget some. Um, but one of my traditions growing up is I always watched Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, uh, Frosty the Snowman, and then whatever it is, Charlie Brown's Christmas. Um, those were just, like integral parts of Christmas growing up. And so every year with my daughter, we watch those movies as well. So definitely a tradition that I've passed on. Decorating the tree was so much fun then, so much fun now. So I have a lot of ornaments from when I was little. Every year I would pick out a new ornament. And so we do similar things uh, with our family now. Every year we pick out a new ornament. Generally throughout the year, it doesn't have to be right here around Christmas time. I loved when I was younger, I would go to the Hallmark store and I was able to pick out any ornament, ornament of my choice. So this year, or I mean in years past now with my daughter, we just pick an ornament, generally almost when we're on vacation, something that represents something we've done. Um, this year we just got our ornament today. It's a Snoopy from Knott's Berry Farm, uh, which is a, a local amusement park here. Uh, so decorating the tree was a huge part when I was younger and now it's a part we all look forward to as my family. Uh, and then seeing the lights. So that also carries over. I'm a big on like, if I did it when I was little, I want my daughter to do it now. Or if I didn't do it, then I don't necessarily feel the need. Like Elf on the Shelf, I know some of you are gonna be like, Alicia, you're ruining your daughter's life or something. But we don't do Elf on the Shelf. Now last year, she was really aware that a lot of kids did and we didn't, and I couldn't buy one in time. But I did get one after Christmas. So technically we have an Elf on the Shelf and I'm sitting here kind of on the fence. Do I do it for the next few days? Do I not do it for the next few days? She hasn't mentioned it this year. Uh, that's one of those things where I didn't have it, so I almost feel like it's unnecessary. I don't know. Uh, I think I just don't want the pressure of trying to find a new creative spot to put it. Um, but seeing the lights. So when I was younger, uh, our local park had a display we would always drive through. We had a charity uh, in Kokomo, Indiana called We Care, and they would do this crazy, like, I don't know, millions of lights, and then you donated for charity. And so that was a tradition. We always went to see the lights. Now that is a tradition. By the neighborhood, by my husband's work, I would say most houses are crazy decorated. They have the, the they have to block off streets and you know police directing it and all that jazz. So we go there every year and walk the neighborhood. Um, Newport Beach has the Newport Beach boat parade, um, and so oh I don't know hundreds, fifty I don't know lots of boats decorate and they do a parade. So we do that every year. So Christmas lights definitely a tradition. Uh, making cookies. Um, I feel like you would never have me be your cookie decorator. So we make them, my husband rolls them, we do the cookie cutters and then we ice them. So we make those for Santa every year. Um, so those are kind of like our traditions. I feel like I'm probably leaving something out somewhere. Um, but those are our kind of traditions in a nut bag. Nut bag? And I don't even know. <laughs> anyway, in a nutshell, not a nut bag. Um, we also always get together with friends. Like I have a friend from work. Our, our kids happen to go to preschool together. So there's three friends, uh, my daughter and two friends that we do most holidays together. We always do like an egg hunt. We do hollow, like Halloween something and then we do Christmas something. So that's part of our tradition is that we see those guys. 
So I would love to hear some of your traditions. What is something that absolutely, if you didn't do it, it wouldn't be Christmas. I would love to hear it. Uh, anyway, up next is the ice cream box. Again, thank you, uh, Taylor, for this lovely Christmas gift. And then you will probably see another intro because I decided to do two videos in one. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I will talk to you soon. As you will see me in two minutes <laughs> showing you the box. <laughs> All right, so here's a look at our tree. The tree skirt has been given up since our dog keeps taking it off. But I just wanted to show some Christmas ornaments. So we love putting our Christmas ornaments on because everything means something. So that was our Paddington bear from when we went to England. Um, the Smurf is one I picked out when I was little. So we've had that forever. Um, the year Cora was born, we got one of those ones that um, had all three of us. So pretty much every ornament means something. Cora's really into uh, Pokemon this year. So my friend made her a Pikachu. Uh, we have a Scotty dog from when we went to Scotland. Cora picked out the dinosaur, I don't know, last year or the year before. So I just love how all of the ornaments tell a story. I love Eeyore, so we have Eeyore. Um, Cora's little foot, she gets a kick out of seeing that every year. We have our little Mountie from Canada. So you, we love traveling, so a lot of it goes traveling. So we went on a Polar Express train and they give you the little bell that they jingle in the story. So just lots of things. We have um, Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse from when we well, went to Disneyland. So anyway, just a look at some of the different ones and their meaning. My uncle got some Christmas ornaments made of my grandma and my dad when they passed. Um, we love camping, so there's a Snoopy camping with s'mores. So just to look at our tree. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. I have a new box to me and it is Ice Cream Beauty. Um, my YouTube friend Taylor over at Tay Chanel's uh, channel, and I will link her channel down below. Um, she was nice enough to gift me um, some money to try a new box. And um, I was gonna do a jewelry one because she really loves jewelry, but she also loves makeup. And so I was gonna do a jewelry one as an ode to her but the, the jewelry one I really wanted to try was a bit more than I want to spend regardless. And so I have had my eye on this one for quite some time. There are two um, versions of this. Um, one is the full size, which is I have here, and it's $25 a month. There is a little bit of shipping and a little bit of tax. And so I think it would end up being like $28 or $30. Um, I joined up through, I think, Crate. Is it Crate Joy or something? And they had a code for like, if it was your first time, you, you, you saved like $2 off or something. So I think for me, this came out to be 28, but I think it would have been like 30 or something. And then they have a bag, which is 1250. And I assume the same little bit of shipping and a little bit of tax. So very excited to try this. So thank you so much, Taylor. Uh, very excited to try this. Um, very cute packaging. I love the packaging. I would say this one is one where if you like makeup, especially if you want a palette, I do believe they guarantee a palette every time. And you're not going to get like super name brands, which is really fine with me. Um, so I am excited to dig in. It looks like we have those degradable peanuts. And of course, way far away went the... Um, brochure thing so anyway sorry about that so I really like that they do a I don't know eco-friendly brochure thing um but they still give you one so it lists all of the things in the products or it lists all of the products um so I'm very excited for that up first I don't know what this is tweezers maybe no it's a lipstick so we have a lipstick, but it, you can't really tell. So let's open this up. So let's see, what is this? This is the Wonder Begins. I'm not sure that's the brand. The IVF Collection Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. 
Maybe we will get it out. I don't see that on here. Oh, ba uh, Base Blue Cosmetics IVF Collection. IVF. I feel like I think of that as like trying to get pregnant IVF. I don't know. Anyway. So this is interesting. I've never seen a lipstick package this way. This is a $21 value. Oh, and 10% of all proceeds from this go to IVF will benefit a fertility within reach. So that's pretty cool that this is a charity driven company. I like that. Um, let's see, what does this look like? All right, so that is a pretty color, but I don't know if that is me. Um, I don't know. Let's see, yeah, I am gonna go out on a limb and say maybe not. So that is like a terracotta kind of color. Um, all right, sorry, I took a break to see if my husband could fix the camera. I don't know, I don't know. I will say sharing a camera with him, I am very grateful for because I don't have the money to buy my own stuff and this is his hobby. But every time he borrows the lens from this camera, it never films right. So we will see. So we were basically at this point, um, I was looking at this guy. I love that it's a charity thing. I think it's matte, so it's a very rusty red. I may take it home for Christmas and see if my cousin wants it. I don't feel like this is a shade for me. I may try it now that I've swatched it before I give it to my cousin. Um, so Base Blue, I've never heard of that brand. Super cool that it gives back, I love that. Um, and I'm not quite, let's see, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five products. I don't know how many you normally get. Two of them are palettes though. Um, so this is a So Susan. Um, yeah, I don't think my husband did anything to make this better, um, but it is what it is. So this is a So Susan Skin Spectre Primer, $26 value. So I would be interested in Googling this and if this actual is $26, because this seems very small. Uh, poor camouflaging primer, primer. I don't normally do primer. Um, I've seen So Susan before. Um, I wonder if this is full size. Because this seems awful tiny for $26. Interesting. Um, vitamin E, marula seed oil. Squeeze a generous amount onto fingertips and then dab with a sponge. A generous amount. I don't think this is going to last very long. So I would be interested to know if this little guy by itself is worth $26. So this says 0.34 ounces. So interesting. Um, I will probably keep this and give it a try. I do have a primer I use occasionally. Um, so interesting. I'm just interested if that's actually, maybe I'll try to look it up really quick. I'm interested if that's actually um, full price. That just seems crazy for that little tube. So is everybody ready for Christmas? I feel ready for Christmas, but I can't believe it's Christmas already. Whoa, that is actually full price. Whoa. So that is actually full price, $26. This stuff better be like absolutely poor erasing for $26. That's teeny tiny for $26. So super cool, that's why I love boxes. Um, you get to try crazy new things for a price I would never pay. All right, up next we have, it looks like a sponge um, snowflake, which is super cute. This is Base Blue Snowfe Snowflake Wedge Blenders, $11. So I usually blend with a brush. I also have one of those teardrop sponges. So I'm interested. I've never used, I don't think I've ever used a sponge like that. So I would be interested if you guys would let me know, are these sponges worthwhile or should I just put it in a giveaway? Um, uh, and then I would also be curious, how long do the, this type of sponge last? Can I wash and reuse? Is it like a one-time thing? Like how does that, I mean, I, I'm assuming it's more than a one-time thing. Um, but anyway, how are these sponges? And I do think that's super cute. Like this is a super cute stocking stuffer, um, something like that, super cute. All right, next up we have two palettes. I'm not sure, I think one's illuminating and maybe one's eyeshadow. 
I will say they are super cute packaging. This one's definitely decked out for Christmas. This is the Ruby May Cosmetics Peppermint Mocha Palette, $29 value. Very cute. Once again, this would be cute, cute for Christmas. Let's see what colors. As you guys know from watching my channel, I don't do much with eyeshadow. I basically have one single pot that I bought and that's what I stick to. Um, I like that. The mirror says beautiful. Um, so these colors are very interesting. I am more of a shimmer shade myself, but that's definitely interesting. Chai Spice, Mocha. Um, I like the peppermint. The peppermint down here is my favorite. Um, it's like a sparkly green. Uh, I can't decide whether I'm going to give this away in a giveaway or try it. I have green eyes, so I kind of wonder, would green eyeshadow bring out my eyes? I don't know. So they have a green apple, which is not a matte, and then the green peppermint, which is sparkly. I just don't see myself with like dark eyes with that. Um... I don't know. I will say that this is really a, a awesome palette in that it has complementary colors that are matte and sparkle. Like there's in the red, there's one matte, one sparkle. In the mocha, one matte, one sparkle. In the green, one matte, one sparkle. And then this, the, the yeah. So I do love that they really sort of gave you some nice things to work with. So I think this is a brutal palette uh, for people who are more adventurous than me. I just don't see myself going out of the house with a green eye. More power to you if that's what you would do. Um, so I don't know whether this will be a giveaway or a keep because I just don't, I don't see myself using that. Um, and that's why like I would love to try that green sparkle and see what it looks like but then I've kind of ruined the palette. Like if I decide it's not for me then I've ruined the palette and I can't really give this away uh, to anybody uh, as far as like you guys anyway. Uh, nobody's going to want a palette where one of the pans is taken. Um, so that's kind of why these often get given away because I am a chicken. It, it does come very nicely packaged. All right, next up is a Bella Pierre. I have definitely seen Bella Pierre before in different boxes. This seems like a very substantial uh, packaging. I think it's really cool. And this is a, a glowing palette. $50 value, crazy. Ooh, I like this one. This one is definitely a keeper for me. This is a highlight, although I also feel like some of these could be a bronze. I don't use bronzer. Um, hashtag Nancy Rounds and I know nothing. I would not know how to use the bronzers or the, yeah, the bronzers. So this is a pink one. So I think I would, that would be fun to try. This one and this one are for sure uh, highlights I could use. Now these two, I feel like, yeah, I feel like these four I can use. These two, I feel like are too dark for my skin. Um, I don't think those would work. Uh, this one and this one I think will be fun to try. Um, but those last two I feel like would be more of a, a bronzer, but are bronzers glittery? So I don't know, but I'm excited to try that. I think I do love highlights, so I'm, I'm interested. So in a way, I like these pans because, you know, you could probably something for everybody. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. Even these two are often dark. I feel like this one is a for sure for me. Uh, um, anyway, so I'm super excited that I got to try ice cream and I don't know, I, I'm hoping they have a skip button. Um, and because I did Crate Joy, I don't know if they have a skip button. I'm really trying a kind of, a kind of a no buy in January. Um, for me, it's more of a no to clothing subscriptions. Um, it's not going to be one of those strict, strict, strict no buys, but I am trying for the month of January to appreciate what I have. You know, Christmas is yet to come, so I'll, you know, get presents, etc. So my goal really is for January not to buy much. So I'm hoping they have a skip button because I just want to skip. So I don't know. I'm super excited. Thank you so much to Taylor for gifting me um, a subscription of my choice. Super cool. Um, I wouldn't mind getting this every now and then because I like to put palettes in my giveaways because 
I, it seems like a lot of people like palettes and so I'm happy to get palettes because I can pass them on. Generally, I am too chicken to try them. Kind of like this one. Like this, I love highlight. I use highlight all the time or anytime I wear makeup, I use highlight. But like what would you, could I use that pink as a highlight? And then would you use a glittery blush? So these two are like the only two that jump out of me. The pink one, I just, I don't know. Do I want to be pink on a highlight? And then like I said, the last two I think are for sure not me. So that's why like, I feel like with a palette this nice for $50, I really want somebody who will truly appreciate it to have it, which is why I tend to give these away. So this is beyond a great value. I, I like I said, it's $25 plus a little uh, shipping and tax. But you got two palettes, a primer. I can't believe how expensive that is for that little thing. You got a lipstick and then this super cute. This would be a great stocking stuffer of makeup blenders. I will probably keep this and use it, but I would love to know some, how, how long do these last? Are they worth it? Or should I pass it on in like a stocking stuffer for my cousin or something when I go home to Indiana? Super good value. I just don't know what to do with the palette. So anyway, I will link uh, Tay's cha uh, channel down below and also a page to ice cream. I don't think there's a reward code, so it'll just be a link to their website in case you want to check it out. But thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate this year. I hope you have a happy one. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.